Hey there. Working on um, some kick practice for you at home. Um, you all have a wall, so you should be able to do this, hopefully. Okay, some of you have seen this at class, but it's nice to work at home. If you have, um, working on your kicks is a big deal because um, when you go to a tournament, um, if you're testing and your feet are, don't have the proper um, alignment, right? And your knees don't have the proper alignment, your kicks don't look very good. In fact, they all start to end up looking the same. You kind of um, revert back to just doing that, the same type of kick all the time. So we wanna make our kicks better. So I wanna show you a way you can practice at home with a wall, everybody has a wall in their house. All right, so I'm gonna move back just a little bit and uh, you should be able to see me right here. If you are working on a side kick, you're gonna have a wall in front of you. You're gonna be arm's length away from the wall. Don't go farther so that you're leaning. You're just standing up straight and you have enough space that your arms fit, okay? And your hands are on the wall. You're not leaning against the wall. You're gonna take your knee. I'm gonna do the one towards you so you can see. You're gonna take your knee and bring it right up to the wall, okay? It's not touching, it's not leaning, but it's right up next to the wall, okay? And my foot is not a wobbly, wet noodle, okay? It's tight, it's ready to go. We want a when we do a side kick, we want our shoulder, our hip, and our foot, our heel, to line up in a nice straight line. So a lot of people start their side kicks here and go like this, and that's not a side kick. You know, you'd see the first thing that would be hitting would be your toes. So put that knee right next to the wall and try and get it to stay near the wall and st stretch straight out. So I got my, my shoulder, my hip, and my heel all out. As it comes back, it comes back the same way. And you'll be back in your chamber position. And then you can put it down, okay? So up, keep that toe near the wall, straight out, and bring it back, okay? Don't be lazy, don't kick and drop it, okay? We wanna get these muscles all stronger so you gotta do it that way, okay? Try five on one side, five on the other. Give yourself a little rest. Try five on one side, five on the other. Slow is fine, you don't have to go fast. I don't want you to kick the wall, okay? So up, out, back, and down. Now, if we're doing a round kick, totally different. Okay, a round kick is all about, we kind of stretch our, our hip flexors and our hips out, okay? You're actually gonna hug the wall for this one. So you're gonna get super close. Again, don't kick the wall, but I'm gonna put my knee up to the wall and my foot in my back pocket. Out and back, out and back. This will also help you try and use the top of your foot to gently touch the wall, okay? Big difference here and here, okay? Huge difference. Front kicks, easy. You can stand next to the wall if you need a little balance, okay? A lot of you sometimes come up on your toe to kick, trying to get it higher, but that's really bad because you're not gonna have enough balance. So stay next to the wall, keep that foot flat on the ground, give a nice flick, put it behind you, try and flick a little higher, but keeping that foot flat, okay? All right, give that a go. Um, kicking out, okay? Practice, practice, you have a wall. See you next time.